With the instrument plugged into the back of the computer via the 9-pin serial port, we're now ready to load the Grams AI software so we can control the instrument and manipulate the data. Grams AI consists of a floppy disk which has your registration and security codes on it, and that is inserted into the drive, and then the operational CD itself, which is the system uh, software, is inserted into the CD drive. From this point, we proceed to install the software following the directions in the enclosed sheet that comes with the Buck M500. The Grams AI will begin with the auto uh, load sequence and just follow the procedures as shown on screen by selecting install products, reviewing the licensing agreement and agreeing to it, And then we recommend the typical installation based on the options that you have. You will see a default screen showing the options on the software CD. And these will begin to load automatically. Please be aware that this may take several minutes and that there are various screens that the system will flash through prior to its completion of loading the software. As you can see, the screen will flash back and forth several times as it loads each of the ordered options. And at the end, you will see a final setup screen. Prior to loading the My Instrument CD that has the Buck Scientific driver software on it, it is important to run the Grams AI the first time so that you can get a proper loading of all the drivers. At the end of the installation you can see the little screen showing finished installing the various products that were ordered with the system. Click OK. Close that screen. Then go to uh, Start, Programs, find the Galactic, and click on the Grams AI to finish the installation. And based on the software being configured for your system, you will see a final setup screen and from there you will run the software as we will show you shortly. All right, click OK when you come to the system viewer registration. Click Yes to update your applications. Click Update for the package installation window. And then OK to begin running the Grams AI. This basic template that you see here is your fundamental Grams AI format. And you can see from the toolbars up at the top, there's all your control and manipulation and data collection features. All right. Once this is run, click exit to leave the software, close your windows, and then eject the Grams AI CD from your CD drive. And you'll have a second CD containing the My Instrument drivers specific for the Buck M500. Insert this CD in the drive and proceed to follow the instructions on the installation procedure. Click on Start. 
run. And set up from the box CD startup file. This will load the appropriate drivers for the Buck M500. Use the default file locations by clicking Next. And wait for the Buck M500 instrument drivers to be installed. With the M500 on, you will see a little window appear at the end of the driver installation that asks you if you want to run the Buck M500 software. Click on Yes and verify the initialization between the PC and the M500. You're asked initially to define your communication port, which is COM1 or whatever plug you set on your PC. Click OK. And you'll see the instrument software show the collection screen and COM port initialized in the upper left hand corner. At this point, you know the installation of the software and the connection of the cables is complete and satisfactory, allowing you to run. You click on instrument and then instrument setup. We can now communicate directly with the machine and set any of the features such as the beginning wavelength, the uh, resolution scale, whether it's percent T or absorbance, the scan type, the uh, scan time, and the uh, gain setting, which is usually zero or one depending upon the accessory. One of the first things we need to do is collect a background scan because this is a single beam infrared. So we click on collect, instrument setup, and from this screen we want to make sure that the scan type is set for reference mode as seen in the drop down box if it is not selected. Our gain is set for zero and our scan time is set for three minutes. At this point, we click on the red scan now box and our single beam background reference scan will be stored in the instrument and the PC. And you can see the data on the screen as the instrument begins the scan at 4000 wave numbers and continues down to 600. When the scan finishes at 600 wave numbers, it will automatically process the scan and you will see it change back to page one of the Grams AI software, which gives you your various manipulation options. Let the software change the page for you automatically, otherwise you may interfere with the ability to do real-time ratioing of the percent T spectrum. Now you can see we're in the Rams AI screen. We click on File, Save Trace As, and usually you give it a default name such as Background. Remember where you put the file because you will need to recall it later when doing your transmission scan. Save this in the appropriate data directory or wherever you want to keep your final spectra. Now if we want to run our polystyrene card sample as a reference, insert that into the holder. Return to the grams menu, select collect, instrument setup, and now use the browser screen to select your background file which we had just run 
and put that in memory. We can now see that we're in the ratio mode for scan type. Gain and time have stayed the same. And now if we click on scan now, we can see a real-time percent T spectrum of our sample as it's being collected. You may also just collect the single beam spectra and do the ratioing within the Grams AI after the data is collected, but this is a convenient feature to allow you to see the actual spectrum as it's being collected. In the auto ratio mode, Again, once the single beam spectrum of the sample has been collected, it will automatically reprocess it and display the percent T scan as shown here. Please be aware that if it is necessary to save the single beam raw data files for each sample, you should not use this procedure, but collect the single beams directly and ratio them afterwards. Again, as the process is completed, it will return you to your Grams AI screen and you can do whatever manipulations you want after the process scan is completed. Save the trace under a specific name and this way you can retrieve it for future analytical work, library searches, or quantitative analyses. This concludes the basic operator training video. The Buck M500 can also be controlled through the EasyScan fundamental software package included with each instrument. The software must be properly loaded to ensure proper operation and communication with the M500. You will receive two disks for the EasyScan software for the M500 IR system. Insert disk 1 into the drive and run the setup program from the A drive. The software will load several Windows-based files and prompt you for disk 2 after the initial files have been loaded. Depending upon the operating system and the BIOS for your computer, you may be required to copy an INI file to the Windows and EasyScan folder directories. Disk 1 contains a rather large file and it may take a minute or so to properly load it into the system. When prompted, remove disk 1, insert disk 2, and follow the procedures on the screen. After both disks have loaded the setup files, you will come to the installation screen, make sure no other programs are running in the background, and click OK, then position the icon and the cursor for installation of the EasyScan. Select Continue to create an EasyScan group for your desktop, and the system will load and install the files. Due to the nature of certain Windows operating systems, you may find duplicate files being installed. It is recommended you